Hey guys, this is Getsumar, and welcome back to Let's Play uh, Eternal Sonata. In the last episode, oh, we went into a cutscene, but yeah, I'll explain after. Oh, this one. In the last episode, well, we came up, um, up with a decision to explore while we wait for Prince Crescendo to come up with a decision, because we had a huge cutscene. And we have some father preaching to the choir, literally, out in the cold. That's how devoted they are, just sitting out in the cold saying, Have you heard the news, brother? And Salsa's a dim-witted always. What's the point of- oh, actually, uh, I suppose you want to listen to the priest. After all, you've killed so many people and monsters. Might as well hear the word of God and see how bad you are. Salsa's just in back there, she's like, I don't know. <laughs> I just want some hot soup. Just give me some soup. What you see with your eyes is not the truth. It will disappear the moment it is touched, for it is not the truth. The path leading to it is false. Only the faithful can see the truth. Pure deeds nurture the heart, which, while evil deeds cloud it. Walk toward the light. The light from the heart will guide your wayward soul. The very first step may be the most difficult, but a bright future surely awaits the, between the sky and the sea. Between the sky and the sea. Rubbing the stubble. Oh yeah. Thank you for stopping to listen in this cold. You must be very devout. Oh, there's no priest in our village. It's an honor to meet you. Your words were very moving. I want to spread the name of the Lord in my town, too. It seems you have an interest in learning about the light. Yes, I would like to hear more about the light, and oh my god, don't talk to me, I'm... Oh my god, sorry, so I'll just keep doing this while I mute my MSN. I did not expect that, I did not expect that. So you will feel the light more strongly there, and you may even be able to touch its source. Really? We have time to now, don't we? So if, you, if so, uh, I'd really like to see that temple. What about everyone else? Wouldn't you all like to go see Arya Temple? Marge, you can't just tell everyone what to do. Being selfish like that will disrupt the teamwork, because I already do that, so we can't have two of the same, even though we're twins. Oh, I think it's alright. Because I am Frederick, and I don't really care. I'm just kind of floating around along. Well, I've got some free time. You always have free time. You technically don't even have, like, a job. You're, like, a hobo of this world. You just, like, wear awesome clothes and walk around and, like, say awesome things and act like you're superior. And what about Allegretto? The Legend of Astra, huh? Yeah, I guess we can't miss out on that. So what's decided? As a team, we shall go over there, but I think I wanted to change up my items real quick. There was something I needed to do. Oh, that's right, I didn't equip everyone's items. Yeah, sorry about that, I just gotta do this real quick. Yeah, I know I know it takes time, but I have to do this. He doesn't need his items touched, because the suit. Even clothes. Nothing. Nothing. Pull the baton. Nothing. That. Where's the shirt? Alright, I think we have another item. Let's see, speedy recovery. No, you don't want that. I want to give that to her. Oops. <clears throat> so I just want to set these up real quick before I start this. Powering. Um. What else? Did I oh, I know what else I'm gonna get. Let's see. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Here we go. Take my spirit's pocket watch, and we're good. So I just wanted to keep a couple of the good items with my main party members, because well. My main team for now is going to be Red, Oviol, and Jazz. Because well, I love them, they're my favorite party members. So let's take a couple of Diamond Clovers. Wait, that uses five freaking PP or whatever? God damn. Well, let's leave Baroque and head for the Aria Temple, good god.
the Celesta Forest. This place has awesome music and it's very calm and peaceful. It's a really nice place. Because you're pretty much like strolling through the park practically. Hey, how are you on your way to the Arya Temple? Yeah, what about it? Eh, well, don't bother. Your entrance is sealed up tight. You can't get in without the Arya Temple key. I heard that some guy in the castle doing magic research borrowed it from the prince. It's just where I missed an item in the castle, too. Uh, should we head back to the castle? You know what? We can, but there's no point, because what we need is actually in this Celesta Forest. I think if you do the trading side quest, you can have it by now or some other place, because I'm pretty sure I missed that. So I'm not too worried about it. And in Baroque, at this time, there's also another Dulce fight, but again, I missed something in the, the catacombs. I was supposed to do this light related thing, so I can't do it. I can't do all of them, anyways, because there's half the stuff in this game is all second playthrough, second playthrough, second playthrough, so it's like whatever. Okay, that's. There we go, an upgrade. It kind of sucks, because, like, if I didn't let's play both things, uh, both parts of the game, well, one, I'd have to redo this because I've already missed some stuff, and two, it'd take for freaking ever. Oh my god. I cannot get started on how long it would take. Because there's a bunch of new stuff that happens in the second playthrough, and that it's like, oh my god, would you really do that? Are you insane? But, oh well. It's a very fun n game, nonetheless, like, if you're not let's playing, and I'd say go through it a second time because it's a fun game. It's just like if you're doing a let's play, it just mm, I would not recommend it. Either do it on core mode only, or just this, because well, you can still, it's still the main story well, in core mode. You just have some extras. Yeah, but if you're going side quest related, it's pretty much completely new. And he powers himself up, so let's go kick his ass. Because in a couple levels, Red alerts something badass. Not as powerful as Sun Slash, but it's completely awesome and so much better. Oh yeah. The weapon Jazz has, if you notice, um, the beside the st weapon stats, it's a uh, passive. Well, what passive means is you cannot counterattack. Like when it's guarding and facing that, you can guard, but you cannot counterattack. Really. And uh, for harmony changes, just spam running at this point. Because, well, um, the one I was talking about is actually the next level of Harm Machines, where um, the button you have to press and change. Not bad. And, uh, well, there is a specific timing that you could just follow, but I suck at the timing, so I just go with the spam and try not to work the same. Because we can only do up to not six at uh, two chains, which is special attack, special attack, and that's it. Later on, we'll be able to do more, but that's not for, I think, a chapter and a half or so. So don't worry about that. Now, let's go have some fun with this thing. Yeah. Too long and hard. It's my first time. Be gentle. And these things are back. This is like the third version of them. They're the Frost Mage, or the Frost Little Peoples. Hey, I'm over Fortunately, here. they're still Come a pushover. On. Especially when they attack in melee range. Because then they get their ass kicked from behind. Bam. One down. What are you gonna do? Oh crap, I forgot about that. Two, like, itchy guard finger. That is bad. You do not want the itchy guard finger. Over up on a Hawkeye, because Jazz is gonna kill it. And that's dead success. Experience here and what's upcoming next is actually really good, so. We are a little under leveled, so I'd recommend leveling up, and we have our spell book, so well we might as well go back. So we're done here for now. We have to pass through here anyway, so we can just go back and the hell was the point of that? Oh I see. Move around and buff himself. These like things look like a combination of a dragon Pokemon and like mute. Their AI is kinda weird, but they are fairly powerful. I don't know which form I'd actually prefer the light or the dark one, it's hard to say. The dark side one can attack from all corners, but... The light side one does some pretty weird attacks. 
Like, see right there, I probably could have triggered a counterattack, but since he has passive, he can't. But, well, like, for now, counterattack isn't that good because it's only regular attacks. Later, you can do the special attacks. As I said, for now, it's only, like, it kind of hinted that um, when it explained it. And when you can get it, it's actually really, really good because, well, a free special attack does a lot of damage. Well, a normal attack. Oh wait, I'm going the wrong way. We're supposed to leave. A normal attack, I suppose, Don't like it's another like 4,000 damage, so you could add on, or you could just change your position if you're in a bad position. <laughs> See right there, I could counter attack, but I got an itchy guard finger. But we could snipe them also. We don't kill him, but we still. Oh, there, I could have did it again. I have an itchy, itchy, itchy guard finger. Although, like, I did some really good, I think, counter attacks uh, in the last episode or so, or before the cutscenes. And later on in the game, I, I started to get better at it. Like, I was kind of fighting lots of monsters on my practice file just to get better at it. I wasn't really too relative in progress story. I just wanted to get better at harmony chains, which that's out of control for now. And I like counterattacks because it's just really good. It's You're a, mess. Like a free hit. Cause it literally is a free hit. And also, it's a, you take zero damage if you pull off a counterattack, or you take very little. So it's good nonetheless. And my controller thing is low. It's flashing, so it could die any minute. But at this point, if it dies, I'm just going to end off the episode. Because <laughs> I got Sorry, 11 minutes, so it's like whatever. Go easy on you. <laughs> Although I'm so sure they hope it does not run out. Because well. I'm doing pretty good right now. I'd like to turn into a session, but I don't know if it's gonna be so forgiving to let me do that. But not too worried. Oh crap. Oh wait, no, it's good. Harmony chain next turn. Getting them both up the ass. Oh fine. Pull up your guard. Ruin my harmony chain. Crap, it's just not finger. That one's really slow, and like I'm not used to slow. I don't like the way to flinch really easily when it comes to that stuff. As you've just seen, and Floppy's seen several times in this game. He's slow. Bam! That should do it. Now we just have to take the beating. Cause well, we're facing the side, so bam. Although the, it does not do much damage. And it inflicted us with passive good, too, which huh? kind of sucks. A lot of monsters do that here. And well, you can't counterattack, which again is not too important right now, but it still is nice. I was just gonna pass up more damage. You better just back up. I just I love the baroque parts because I love the snow effect in this game, and I love the music. The music is nice and calm, and the snow is really beautiful. I just love the effects. Yeah, that could have been a counterattack there too. Oh, freaking so close! I was, I knew that was gonna be one, so I kind of waited a second. Wait, and there I should not have used my special because I should have did a harmony chain next turn, but he's dead, so it's okay. I still don't have any intention to cut out that one. We're as tough as they come. I'm not lazy about it anymore, like because I've been like trying to fix my ABI recording so I can get a little bit higher quality. It's been eating up a lot of time and I'm re-recording these because, well, if I was lazy, you'd be having episodes with no audio. Don't think, just and I, would, I don't want to put you through that. Because I want you to hear the awesome, awesome, awesome music. So, whether you like it or not, you can hear it. Although, who's going to pass up game audio in, like, Motoy Soccer not album? At, all. at least I'm pretty sure he's the hey, one who did it. Nothing. And we hit level 30, and she learns White Dagger. I'm pretty sure everyone learns a new move at 30. White Dagger is Bone Crumble, but in the light. So in other words, it's stronger. So bye-bye, Sacred Strike. Hello, White Dagger. This does not mean she's better in a melee range. You still want her to be a ranged sh shooter. Especially on a boss fight. I like, oh, White Dagger's so awesome. I'll just keep her in melee range. She died in one turn, because I failed at guarding with her, and she got raped. Yes. Yes, she did. Hello. 
You can't stop telling me the key, but I heard some guy in the castle. Oh, wait, wait, I don't want to talk to him yet. I don't want to talk to him after. Sorry. I'm just wondering, um, because he gives you a score piece after we do this. And I want to get that score piece. Very much so. Because I can't do the Dulce fight. Although, I can show you a little funny cutscene, which I probably will after I return the book. But, for now, is a good time to say we're out of time, because we're almost all out of time. So next time on Let's Play Eternal Sonata, we will uh, go turn in the spellbook. So I'll see you next time, guys. Goodbye.